These walls were once impenetrable. <laughs> But water, the whims of a dictator, and war have put parts of Babylon at risk. And so we are taking care to this tower, which could collapse at any moment, perhaps in two days, two weeks, two months. International and Iraqi experts with U.S. funding are shoring up the walls and deciding what needs urgent repair. Babylon was a wonder of the ancient world, a center of astronomy, science, and culture. In an era of war, it was a fortress. This is what's left of the North Palace. It was built 2,600 years ago as the kingdom expanded. It's never been fully excavated, but what is above ground is in terrible shape. In the 1980s, Saddam Hussein, emulating Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar, built his own palace above the ancient city. To recreate Babylon, heavy modern bricks were placed on historic ones. Concrete was poured against fragile walls. And salt water from new canals did even more damage. And that's because the water has come up and it's just soaked and rotted the brick away. It's gotten through from behind and it's just dissolving the brick. So we've got a big project here and that what we have to do is remove this. We have to change the drainage patterns. Babylon is so badly restored, it was twice rejected by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. And then there was the military occupation. After Saddam was toppled, U.S. and Polish troops moved into the ancient city. They built military positions and made a helicopter landing pad. Their trucks were also very heavy. They locked themselves inside the city, and we don't know what damage they did inside. Almost the only tourists now are heavily guarded official delegations and Iraqi families and students here on school trips. Local authorities would like to attract foreign tourists. They're working again on World Heritage Site approval, but this time not simply as a restored ancient city. The narrative is now going to be an evolutional process of a cultural landscape changing. That, we understand, will make it much easier to get the site nominated because that process of the narration includes such things as the Saddam Hussein era. It will also include plans to maintain this guard tower and barbed wire left by Polish troops eight years ago. Babylon's most recent encounter with war in its 4,000 years of history. Jane Arath, Al Jazeera, Babylon, Iraq.